let's take a first look at HipSocket, starting from the order manager. This is the manager's interface, which allows us to monitor all our restorations, our clients, and guides us along in the creation of the new prosthesis cases. It consists of two basic lists. On the left, we have the list of the cases relative to the selected doctors. On the right, we find the list including the different doctors we collaborate with. The section relative to the restoration is played in Fix the Prosthesis Restorations and uh, Removable Prosthesis Restorations. This allows us to easily manage our projects by dividing them into different categories. In order to simplify the research, we may filter the cases based on their column of interest or find a specific job by clicking on Search at the bottom. On the menu on the left, we find five icons that link a HipSocket with external apps. Specifically, the icon that connects to our scanner, the icon that allows us to plan a surgery with the software connected, HipSocket CAD icon, the model maker icon, and finally the cam icon and the printers. HipSocket can connect with most of the scanners and printers on the market in a simple and intuitive way. If we go on the menu on the top right, we will access the settings of the software. Here, you find the application manager. By clicking on it, you can add the new apps, connect the scanner, printers, or other softwares. Now, we can choose which one we want to implement between scanner, cam, or implant planning, and we click on Add. At this point, we provide the name of the software or hardware we are connecting, and we select the path of the corresponding executable file, and we will choose Type. This is the series of steps we need to follow each time we want to connect a new program to HipSocket. On the same menu, at the top right, we find the item Libraries Manager. This tool allows us to implement HipSocket's database with an unlimited series of libraries. This is possible thanks to the CAD software direct connection with the producer server, which continuously updates and adds new certified platforms, making them those available for every single HipSocket user. Here we will find an atomic library where we can download the controlled and EGS certified anatomic libraries, articulator, where we find the most widely used articulators on the market, attachments by subtraction or addition, implant libraries with the relative certification of the implant parent company. And where available, the possibility to examine the user manual documents for each library. And be attachment, with every attachment to be used in Model Maker. Section, various forms of sectioned implant bars and finally, sample, which are example cases for the user to practice with. The files available are the same files we are using in this tutorial, so that you may follow and practice all the steps shown in this video. Downloading is very simple. We click and select the library we want to download. If you want to select some multiple files, press on Ctrl or Shift. Then we click on Download the libraries, so that the libraries will be automatically installed on HipSocket. By going back on the menu at the top right, we find the Profile Manager. This tool allows you to customize your HipSocket by creating and using profiles with customized settings. By default, we find a wide range of preset profiles. 
we may also add in new materials. Set creation parameters to our liking and apply them in Model Maker and in CAD modeling. In the main menu, we find the license box section, which shows an overview of the active modules on our license and also allows you to disable HipsoCAD on the current computer and activate it on another device very easily with the release and activate buttons.